Hi everybody and welcome to this week's LEGO Technic video. So normally I do videos on uh, things like gearboxes and other functional kind of projects but this th um, week I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Um, just the other day I was sorting out all my LEGO pieces and I came across a lot of these elbow pieces that normally uh, I don't have much use for. They're sort of a decorative piece and they're not really adding functionality but I started playing around with them and just sort of putting them together like this um, and I thought it was actually quite interesting because you can create these quite cool little uh, shapes with them kind of reminded me of uh, kind of some sort of plumbing and you know what I do is sort of connect them up with different length uh, pieces I use sort of axles and these uh, length one lift arm pieces and sort of create different 3D uh, shapes and uh, you yeah, know playing around with this I ended up creating a um, continuous loop like this and I thought well this is quite cool kind of reminds me of a piece of art it's kind of shiny nice looking and what I really like about it it's a, a continuous loop so it kind of loops back onto itself and creates this very nice looking I guess artistic showpiece and you know I made a few of these and I did find it wasn't that easy uh, it took quite a while to of course get um, you know the loop to connect back onto itself you know in terms of the 3d space because of the nature of those um, elbow pieces you now the different distance between them and by the time you're trying to connect back onto itself, it's uh, you know, it's not straightforward. It's, I mean, it's not that hard, but it's, it's quite a bit of effort. And I thought, well, it'd be quite interesting interesting to create a computer program to actually find these for me. Uh, so that's exactly what I've did. Um, so today I'd like to present to you a computer program for generating uh, 3D continuous um, elbow art loops. So if that's something you're interested in, please keep watching. Alright, so I'll just show you where you can find the software that I've created. Just go to my website, technicbrickpower.com. Uh, there it is. Uh, it shows you the tool there in the latest update. It's also under the tools menu, so just select Technic Elbow Art. And here it is. So, um, yeah, I'll just get straight into it. So essentially what you can do, you can search within a uh, certain space dimension. So that means, in this case, I'm looking uh, for a solution in a space of 7 by 7 by 7 I'll just get straight into it, I'll just push search and that will start searching for a uh, loop um, and down here it shows you the solutions it's found. So it's found four solutions with 44 elbows, I can push stop and that will then present the uh, first solution that's found. So there we go, this is one loop that's found already uh, and uh, yeah, like I say it's a continuous loop, it looks very cool. You can uh, build that by downloading the LDR and you can just load that into one of your favorite uh, LDR editing tools. Uh, you can then uh, dissect it and uh, build it. Uh, I'll tell you some about, uh, something about the different parameters. So first of all down here we've got this create loop parameter. Uh, that will then obviously try to create a loop. There are options to turn that off and all use uh, axles to be able to mount you, uh, your result. So I'll just keep it on create loop. Um, Got a random seed, so with the search being uh, kind of random, this seed allows you to uh, you know, reproduce a particular search result by choosing different random seeds. And you can also then generate uh, different searches because the search space is very, very large. It's actually impossible on a computer to search across all possible combinations. So by having this random seed, it allows you to reproduce a, a particular random search that you've done previously by putting in the same number. Uh, the maximum elbows, so that's the number of elbows that will try to fit into that space, uh, you know, up to that many. So if you do have fewer elbows, so for example, if you've only got uh, 20 in your collection, you can just put in 20. You can just search for that, and then it will try to find solutions with 20 elbows. So there we go, it's found one. Just stop it, so this one's just got 20. So if you do have fewer pieces, you can just simply uh, choose or set that number that you do have in that parameter, and it will give you a different solution. If you want a different color scheme, um, you can change the elbow color cycle. So here I've just chosen to go yellow, then light blue, gray, then black. But, you know, if you've got other colors in your collection, like, like red for example, is quite a common color, or some of the uh, you know whites and things like that, you can add those in there. Do a search, and it will then create you know, a solution using those colors instead. And same with the join. So I've got the join color cycle. Again, it's just got the uh, available um, single um, lift arm joints that are available. Uh, you can also play around with some of the search parameters. So um, this is the number of, maximum number of loops that it will try to search for. So it's 200,000. You know, if you want to spend a bit more time uh, looking for particular solutions, you can just increase that number for maybe it's like 2 million. I've got these other two parameters called rewind loops and rewind two. 
um, you know, this because it's a the way the search works, it pretty much starts placing random elbows in random directions. And what can happen is if it gets off to a bad start, then uh, because it spends most of its time at the end of the solution trying to reconnect the loop, uh, if it turns out that you know that beginning of that solution um, makes it hard to reconnect, then what it can do is rewind to a um, you know, earlier start. Uh, every so many loops. So for example, 50,000 loops that rewind back to just having three pieces or whatever number you put in there, five pieces. And then um, with that different start, it's got a better chance of reconnecting the loop. So that's one way of uh, searching space differently. And one reason you might want to do that is what I actually do, I record within uh, the program on the website the, uh, the records for the greatest number of elbows that have been fit into a particular space. So for example, if I choose space, space of size 787, so there's no records have been found yet and by pushing search what you can do is try to find a record so in this case well I've only found 20 elbows I've got to change this parameter back to a higher number and I'll just search again and so in this case I found for example 49 elbows so I've got a new record 49 elbows and it allows you to put in your name so in this case I might just put in Technic Brick Power and I am from New Zealand and I now hold that record so your challenge is to try to beat those records, in this case 49. Uh, I'm sure there's a better um, you know, number of uh, elbows that can be fitted in there. So by playing around the search parameters, you can you know, have a good, good chance of beating that and putting in your name. Now for a bit of fun, you can increase the space dimensions to the largest that I've allowed, uh, 21 by 21 by 21 and you can search for a very large solution uh, you probably never build it there'll be thousands of elbows but we'll just see in this case how many i can find uh, so at the moment it's searching it hasn't found any solutions yet but i'm sure it will shortly all right so there it's found uh, two different solutions uh, the greatest with 1180 elbows we'll just uh, load that up it'll probably take quite a while so just hold on all right, there it is, fully loaded up. It's found a solution with 1,180 elbows. It's over 3,254 pieces. If you do have this many pieces and the patience to be able to build this, uh, then wow, I'll be impressed. I mean, this is a massive, massive uh, loop cube. Um, it'll probably look uh, quite amazing if you did build this and turn it into a piece of art. But you'll probably find it's uh, actually almost impossible to put together because uh, the way the elbows uh, or the you know, parts loop within the space it's probably physically very very difficult to, be able to construct this so at this stage it's only a computer construction but as you can see the tool can find incredibly uh, large solutions which makes it very very, very interesting all right now the other thing i'll just show you quickly is when you don't create a loop so i'll just go to a again to a smaller space maybe eight by nine by i don't know something like uh, eight or something like that instead of creating a loop we're not going to create a loop Instead what we can do is have these axle coordinates and what it tries to create is an axle at the bottom and an axle at the top. So I'll just show you how that works. Easy to demonstrate, just do a search. All right, it's found a couple of solutions there. Oh, I just found a record, just record that, that's fantastic. And what it does, it actually creates, as you can see, an axle at the bottom and an axle at the top, which allows you to kind of mount the uh, piece of art uh, and maybe have it rotating. So I'll demonstrate later an, an actual um, construction of one of these I've built this into a physical model and I just got it rotating round uh, driven by Wii motor so uh, that's uh, another option instead of a loop you just simply create an axle at the bottom axle at the top and allows you to mount it all right so I've used my program to create this dynamic sculpture so what I've got here is two solutions kind of mounted together uh, using the axle solution rather than the complete loop so with those axles allowed me to kind of create this uh, dynamic art and what I've done I've just motorized it at the bottom here so I've put a uh, small uh, or medium Leo Technic motor I've got the battery pack and just a bit of gearing to um, you know make those two things turn so I'll just turn it on give a demonstration and here it is the dynamic Lego elbow art makes a yeah, very nice showpiece um, you can see it's rotating at a nice rate not too fast not too slow and it's a good demonstration of the uh, elbow art that I've created. All right, so I've used my tool to create this wonderful elbow art. My challenge to you is to use that tool to try and find some new records. 
please uh, search different spaces, look for loops, put in your name, put in your country and I'll compile the results and publish them on my website later. Please like and subscribe and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.